Hey folks, I don't know about you, but I want to get tanked. Roll it. Okay, I'm actually just turning around because over there, we're going over to that field over there. But before I went into the field, I wanted to get the meter number off of the uh, power pole so I could, we're controlled right now, meaning if you're signed up for control on your power units, on these electric power units, that they shut them off uh, since it's hot out. I kind of went over that a couple videos ago, so if you have questions about it, let me know. But what we're doing today is we're going to fertigate some. We didn't do a ton this year, but we do some where we feel like there's a need for it. Say if we see a little bit of nitrogen firing on the bottom or something like that of the leaves. like So your corn plant, as it's going through the year, if it starts kind of running out of nutrients or, or nitrogen, it'll actually kind of start cannibalizing the plant, like pulling it out of the leaves, and you'll see it by what they call nitrogen firing when the bottom leaves kind of start turning yellow and dying off so with this field the way it's looking we kind of want to make sure it's got its best shot to go to full yield potential plus it'll help the test weight a little bit which ultimately helps in what you get paid for but don't get me started on the whole test weight versus yield deal because that's that's a twitter battle nobody wants to fight so um we're heading out here uh i'm gonna start pulling into the field here actually but all we're doing is this field's like lower bottom area. We're not going to worry about on the other side. This is the one with the power poles, but we're not going to worry about the west side. The only one we're going to worry about is this hillier west side where um, you tend to just lose it a little easier. Might leach nitrogen a little easier and stuff like that. So this is where we're heading to. Man, that's it's a lot smoother with a four-wheeler. So the, what we're gonna put on is five gallon per acre of 32% nitrogen, which is the blend of it. There's different blends of different chemicals. The first numbers are usually your nitrogen. And then we're gonna add a sulfur, which I think it's, better slow down so I don't knock my ear, ears off. So the next one is going to be sulfur or thi thiosulfate, which is 120 six I guess I didn't they usually send a blend sheet but I just picked up this trailer and hopefully they put what I wanted in it we're gonna set this by the well and hook up to the fertilizer pump and let it fertigate through the pivot that's kind of the good bad and the ugly folks that's the biggest pain of butt about turning these things around at a pivot point luckily I got two pivot points there's already a road that goes through there see that so it's not as bad is what it might look at first but it's still like you start spinning out and then you kind of get what's given to you plus i had to watch out for this steel pipe above like i don't know where this goes but i was just trying my best to avoid that because i don't know it's what we do but let's get it set up over here I better make sure there's a block. <laughs> I don't want this rolling backwards. Oh, man. Usually these have a fill in the center that I got to reach to, but I got to reach clear up here. I don't know if my hose... Oh, there's always stuff like... They build these things for, like, the cattle when they graze stocks, but all it does is catch crap, it seems like. Sorry, I'm venting a little bit. I don't mean it. I do. I don't. You know how it goes. This is gonna be the fertigation pump that we use to uh, inject it into that kin valve there. We're gonna put it in that hole. And uh, this one's rated for 80 gallon an hour up to at 100%. So how we do that is we dial it in over here kind of on the percentage basis. We'll get to that in a sec, but right now I'm just trying to figure out if I can reach. So let me move some things around a little bit. made it 
Here's the plug we're going to plug it into. Now, this guy right here is your Mr. This guy here is your Mr. Mister. What this does is it goes into this chem valve and it's spring loaded. So when it's pulsing, that pump will pulse. And so this will mist it up into the, the water. So it distributes it, distributes it pretty evenly in the water. That way you get a little more, well, it's more even. I'm gonna need a wrench. And yep, we're controlled. So I'll call in, try to get a short release just so I can get this set up so it automatically starts tonight. Okay, so I just got off the phone with the power district and they will be releasing this here shortly. I'll be able to tell, here's my voltmeter. So whenever that kicks in, they send the signal, I'll get power back. Then we can light this candle. So this is all kind of manual. Um, they're starting to come out with pumps now that our flow have flow meters on them so you can type in the hours and it'll be maybe a little bit more accurate but once you get these pumps set they're pretty accurate as well too this is a neptune pump that we got here we have agri inject and whatever was on the shelf <laughs> but so what we got to do is kind of figure out how fast we want to pivot so say we wanted to make this is going to be a half circle so say if we want to do this in 15 hours we got 500 gallon of fertilizer here to put on so 500 Divide that by 15, that's how many gallons we're gonna set this pump to. But I just wanna see, I need to look up my my flow here. So I gotta get off my phone here is what I'm using and uh, figure all that out and I'll get back to you here. So I think I got it figured out here. So for this pivot to make a half turn here um, at the rate I want, I wanna put it still 50 hundreds on since we're still using quite a bit of water out here. Um, I wanna put 50 hundreds on, which will take about 20 hours. So 500 divided by 20 hours is 25 gallons. So come over here in this mess. I should set this a little more level. That'd be all I get. Don't want that kinked. So then we figure out, okay, what's 80, 80 gallon per hour which is what this pump is rated at, what percentage is that to set this dial to? So let me use my calculator. Okay, so that'll be roughly 31 and a half percent or 32. So we come down here and then I always, on these, I always make sure I find the maximum set point and then I start from there because it's just to make sure I'm reading it right. So that's gonna be zero. So you go through the, that's, I don't know how well you can see these, they're kind of faded, but there's 10%. I'm the wrong way. Sorry, I'm looking at this backwards. One of these days I'll get life figured out. I'll tell you all about it in heaven. I'm gonna go a little bit high, just cause most of this is hills until you get down, down to the bottom over there. So if it runs out a little bit early in that bottom ground, that's okay, cause it's usually got more holding capacity for nitrogen and stuff. On these lighter soils is what I kind of want to get after and target. So that's what we'll do and also, most of our pivots will run through a phone app and I'll set my percentage there because it tends to be a little bit more specific. Sometimes these percentage timers can get a little bit off, but if I run it through the AgSense monitor on the pivot, usually it comes out pretty close and we have them already programmed and, and, the, <coughs> and the time set in there because if I was doing this from scratch, starting out, what I'd do is I'd set the percent timer, kind of roughly what the speed I'd want it to go go out, time it, measure the speed, just so I get my feet per second, my feet per uh, minute figured out. So then I come out back here, do all the calculations that way, which isn't hard because once you get it set, you're usually pretty close. But since we got this all programmed in the, the AgSense app, I just type the percentage in or how much time I want this to take. And then it figures it out and it usually comes out pretty close as long as I did my math correct. So once this gets launched, we will start this up. Get up here where there's a little more air. It's a little warm out today. Okay, I heard electricity. I like to make sure I've got all the air out of the system, and then I'll jam it back in there. I find if I kind of make a loop, it gives it a place to kind of pulse and not rub, and then I'll kind of set something on it. 
So then you're not rubbing on, just make sure your hose ain't rubbing on anything major to make a hole. Putting fertilizer through the pivot. Now I'm just gonna get this timer set. Cause this is an older ag sense. I gotta run it on 100% and then set my flat rate on the app. So that's what I'm gonna do now. There's a 30 foot hose that goes underneath of the relief valve that drains back. In that chem valve that I just put that Mr. Mister in, that has a flap in it. So if this fills up with water and shuts off, nothing can go back into the well. No nitrogen, chemicals, whatever you have going through your pivot. And they come out and inspect them every three years to make sure those are working. We actually, I actually did a handful of them the other day with one of the NRD guys, the Natural Resource Districts. Those are the guys that come out and inspect your groundwater and other resources make sure everything's going well and we're using them right so those are done this looks good as far as i can tell we're putting water on i kind of had to hurry up because my pickup was starting to get sprayed and i don't want to get too much on so i'll get asked the question does this burn the corn um the rate that it's going on it's diluted down so much uh, it doesn't affect it at all. It's, it's pretty much mainly water still, just with a little bit of fertilizer mixed in with it, so it will not burn the corn. But no, that's us fertigating. We'll, uh, this may be a short one, but we'll cut it off there, and thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Later.